Thursday afternoon, about one o'clock, September 8th, 2022. Who is greater, Ted Williams or Jimmy Fox? Interesting matchup, both Hall of Fame players. It's close. Let's go through the categories, 20 of them. See who wins each category. See who comes out as a greater player. Jimmy Fox played 25 more games than Ted Williams. So same amount of games. Ted Williams, 2,292 games. Jimmy Fox, 2,317. A difference of 25 games. So no need to average what, what they did per game because they're very close. Let's see what their career achievements and stats are. Ted Williams had 7,700 at bats. Fox, 8,100 at bats. Difference of about 400 at bats. The reason? Williams got more walks than Fox. Let's go through the categories. Career average. Ted Williams, 344. Fox, Jimmy Fox, 325. one nothing Williams. Run scored. Williams, 1798. Fox, 1751. Difference of 47. Very close run scored. 2 nothing Williams. Runs batted in. Williams, 1839, but Fox, 1922. He beats him by about 80. So give one to Fox, 2-1 Williams. Home runs. Williams, 521. Fox, 534. 2-2. Two -two. Triples. Williams, 71. Fox, 125. 3-2. Fox. Doubles. Williams, 525. Fox, 458. Give it to Williams, 3-3. Tied after six categories. Singles. Ted Williams, 1,537. Fox, 1,529. That's a difference of eight. Williams played 19 years, Fox 20. And if you count up all their singles, it only separated by eight singles. But Williams wins it. Four, three, Williams. Total bases. Williams 4884. Fox 4956. Give it to Fox 44. Slugging. Williams 634. Fox 609. If you can if you can slug past 500, you're good. And these guys are 600s. Give it to Williams. 5-4 Williams. On base. Of course, Williams is number one on base. Of all the Hall of Fame players, 482. Almost half the time on base. Fox, 428. 6 4 Williams. Walks. Williams, 2021. Fox, 1452. Give it to Williams. He's leading 7 4. Stolen bases. Ted Williams, 24. In 22 years. Or no, in 19 years, 24 stolen bases. Like one a year. Fox 87, give it to Fox. 7-5. 100 RBI seasons. Key stat. Williams had nine of them. Of course, he missed four years in the military, right? If he had those four years, he would have had more. And they were in his prime, too. So Fox beats him there. He had 13 of them. 7-6, Williams. 100 run-scored seasons. Williams had 9, Fox 11. Again, Williams is in the military, so he's missing out. But you got to give it to Fox. It's 7-7. Seven, seven. Most RBI, no, most runs scored in a season. Ted Williams had 151 year, and we, and Fox 151. He's leading 8-7. 
Most RBI in a season. Best for Williams, 159. Fox, 175. Give it to Fox. He's leading 9-7 in categories. Highest average in a season. Ted Williams, 406. Best for Fox was 364. Give it to Williams, 9-8. Fox. Most hits in a season. For Williams, 194. For Fox, 213. 10 8 after 18 categories. Jimmy Fox is leading Ted Williams. 200 hit seasons. Williams had none, Fox had two. 11 categories for Jimmy Fox. Eight for Williams. And the last category, career base hits. Ted Williams, 2654. Did you know that Jimmy Fox had 2646? That's a difference of eight base hits. Ted Williams. Wins the category, but overall, Jimmy Fox 11, Ted Williams 9. Who's greater? i do something here. I want to look up, because I, I, I have to pick one of these guys to be on my team. I can't have both of them. I can only choose one of them. What is the deciding factor whether you're going to take one player over another? I think it's, to me, it's a matter of how many times they struck out in their career. Because you've got to make contact. How many times did Ted Williams strike out in 19 years, 7,700 at bat? He struck out 709 times. Very good. Whew. It's about once every 10 times at bat, if you have 7,000 at bats. How about Jimmy Fox? Can you guess? Is he better or worse? He's a slugger, right? How many times did Jimmy Fox strike out? One thousand three hundred and eleven. That's, that's 600 more than Williams. But Fox is winning 11-9 in categories. Fox won in runs batted in, home runs, triples, total bases, stolen bases, 100 RBI seasons, 100 runs scored seasons, most RBI in a season, most hits in a season, more 200 hit seasons, so that's 11. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11 categories. Williams wins in career average, run scored, double, singles, slugging. On base, walks, base on balls, highest average in a season, and most career hits. Who do you take? Who's greater? Ted Williams or Jimmy Fox? Williams has the edge in career average, right? And he has more um, base hits, but it's only by eight. Also, he the career average is 344, Fox 325. Also, Williams batted 406 one year. Fox, the best for Fox was 364. Fox has more homers and more RBIs. He's a slugger. More total bases. So, so he achieved more runs scored than in a season than Williams. And he had more RBIs in a season than Williams. He had 175 one year. Where uh, Williams, the best he did was 159. Also, he had two 200-hit seasons, indicating not only is he a slugger, but he's an on, he's a double, single, and triples hitter to get on base, right? Who do I take? Ted Williams or Jimmy Fox? 
I don't know. The Splendid Splinter. We know he was in the military. So he had four years of his prime. He, he would have outdone Fox if he had those four years. You know, Fox doesn't miss the military. Why? Because he starts in 1925, no war, and he finishes in 1945. So he could have gone into the military in 1941, 42. But here's the thing. He's 33 years old during that time. I think in the in uh, World War II, they were taking the 20-year-olds. I don't know if that's true or not. But 1941, he's 33, and then by 1945, he's 37. Where Williams, he goes into the military. Look, look at this. At 24 years old, 1943, 44, 45. So three years, part of the fourth year. This is incredible. At age 24, 25, and 26, he's in the military, Ted Williams. What would he have done in those prime years? 40 homers, 135 RBIs, and probably batting 380. So he would have outdone Fox. So if you're asking me, who do I take? Ted Williams or Jimmy Fox, I'm going to go with Teddy ball game. Why? He would have outdone Jimmy Fox if he had those prime years. So that's a what if. But Fox outdo, outdoes him, wins the category 11 9. But I'm going to go with the splendid splinter. He batted that 406. That was crucial. And then he only had 709 strikeouts. That really helps. And he has the better career average. And he beats him in career hits, even though he misses those three years. How about that? That's why I'm going with Teddy Ballgame. Thanks for watching here. We'll continue these uh, series of episodes on who is greater. Thanks for watching. I'm out.